Hey guys, my name's Faith, and welcome back to another episode on the Time Shot server. It's been a while. It has been a while. Look at that. The dragon head is there. We have Optifine finally for 1.9. Uh, I think I think I could have done it a lot earlier, but now I finally did. We are in actually in 1.9.2 already, which added a couple more sound effects and all kinds of stuff. Also, big news! We have a new member on the Timeshot server, Pudzy. And apparently she's already been pretty busy. Um, if you've watched my Minecraft murder video and some of my Sonic UHC videos, you definitely know Pudzy already. Now she's on this server as well, and, uh, well, oh. Ooh, emerald. Oh yeah, it's oh, oh what? <laughs> Holy what? What? It's what? What? That is. <laughs> All right, Patsy beats the game already. She doesn't need to play anymore. She has everything she could ever want, literally. Like that's better armor than I had ever had. That is better swords, better armor. Well, I had efficiency. F <laughs> mending! Mending! Ladies and gentlemen, mending! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, this is better armor and better equipment that I ever had on the server. And I've been playing on the server for over two years. And she gets that stuff on the first week. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I actually don't know about that. I don't know how I would feel about that. I think I would rather want to earn that stuff myself, but I guess that's up to anyone, uh, everyone themselves. That's, this is Edson's villager paradise here. I think this is a breeder, might be a breeder, and then he has the the rail tracks all the way over here. Are you important, sir? Farmer. Oh, this is the guy that gives you the emeralds. I think you are supposed to farm and then um, get the emeralds from him by, yeah, basically giving him all the, the carrots and potatoes and melons and all that kind of stuff. And where does he have the actual trading villagers? No, wait, that looks like more like a, uh, like a breeder, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks like a breeder to me. Where are the actual villagers that have the good trades, I wonder? Does he, did he set up a building for those, or is he just keeping them to himself? Because I would really like a mending book, I'm not gonna lie. Mending is awesome. I mean, having a silk touch pick that is basically unbreakable, that will always repair itself, I would take that any day. But... I, and I know, I know he has one of these villagers. I mean, he's he's been telling everyone about that in the time shot chat and about all the villagers. Yet, is he putting them in there? Maybe. Let's check that out. Or is this just a villager dump? That's a lot of librarians. And everything is lit up. That might be the important ones. Is there a way in there? <laughs> there's probably a reason if there's not a way in there. Maybe he doesn't want anyone to. I, I'm not gonna play around with that. If he didn't set up like a good system to trade with those guys yet. I'm not gonna mess around with that. And there might be, there might be somewhere. Maybe he actually, no, I can't imagine him, him moving them all to his base because this was supposed to be a community project. I don't know. Still missing the trees here. I hope he's gonna replant them once he's done with all that mess. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty crazy what he's done with those. He's like, Oh man, Edson, he's always been somewhat overpowered, but now with this, he's definitely overpowered. Okay, but what I actually had in mind for today is I want to try something out um, for our base that might help us fix some of the slime ball block issues. First of all, I want to try them out again, because maybe they changed something 1.9.2. This is, this is Beerus's boat thingy. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. It might not be done yet. I don't know. I think I also showed that off before. Uh, anyways, let's go back to the base. And let's check it out. I don't think there's anything else new. The last episode I uploaded was the Q&A in the court uh, with Win, uh, Which was pretty interesting. You guys had some interesting opinions and we had some interesting discussions in the comments. Um, it's still mind-boggling to me. 
how many people there are out there who just deny the things that science has accomplished in the last 50 years. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it. It's just, I mean, I don't want to offend anyone, but at the same time, I don't understand these people. Anyways, we're not going to talk about it. What I actually want to do, this is my reserve stuff, some ender pearls. And, oh yeah, they fixed the ender farm again too. Like now you can get a lot of levels easily again. What do I have here left? Some good boots, at least. Um, talking about the elevators, let's try them out. Let's see if they did anything to the slime blocks in the meantime, but I, I doubt it. I really... Ooh! Holy crap, Adson! Ha! <laughs> Thank you! I was looking for that. That is actually really good. They are all mending books. Oh, did I lose my silk touch pick or did I just leave it behind? I might just leave it, left it behind while we were fighting the ender dragon. I really do not remember. The gas is still alive. Alive and healthy, as you can hear. I still haven't fixed the cage, though. Um, was it in here? There's... Suit of fourth, suit of third. There's a looting book. That is another silk touch, which I might actually use to get mending on. I also kind of want to put mending on the boots of dreams. That would actually be really nice. Because right now I have only not the not the really good. Let's do that. Let's try and put. An, oh, I don't have the levels even remotely to do that right now. There's suit of seventh, still alive and healthy. All right, that's great. Um, I'm gonna keep the bow of infinite power for now. I should get an arrow though. Um, oh, that's been here for a while. I can take that down. Uh, let's take an arrow to the face. Now we should be good again. Okay. Um, yeah, elevator time. Do I have some pistons? I do have some pistons. Which might be very helpful. Let's take some of that stuff with us here. We might use it. A stone pressure plate would be nice. Uh, let's take some torches and actually do we have some well <laughs> Do we have some smooth stone I wonder and I imagine where is it? There it is. We have plenty Want to try out a new type of elevator that I believe Etho came up with I might be wrong about it But that's where I saw it and it looked really, really cool. If it works that well, he only used it in single player. I want to test if it works in multiplayer, but nope, still broken. Okay, let's try and set uh, a small one up just to test it out. This little pink guy is still available, which is kind of cool. I really need to need to get this farm back going. Although I don't really need to because I am good on the resources that they were producing. Um. Oh yeah, my iron AFK spot up there. And I never fixed that, did I? <laughs> Crap, I never fixed the um, item elevator either. But let's worry about the person elevator first now. So, there is a new mechanic to pistons. Let me get some dirt. I should have some in here. There's a new mechanic to pistons. Um, it actually is able to pull you now. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. Um... Let's use a torch. Okay, get rid of this. Torch. So if you stand in front of it, and... Hmm, how did that work? Like this? Maybe this is gonna work. Oops. You see that? You see that? That's exactly what I mean. If you're standing in the piston hat, and you unpower the piston, it pushes you through the piston. And that is new to 1.9 and you can abuse that by doing something let me get in here again you can abuse that by doing th something like this placing it like that um, now we need to wait to power the sucker should I make a lever well we can just do this bomb can I break it you see that that is amazing! Like, it just, in an instant, it traveled me like two blocks up. Or even three blocks up, because I was standing there, and now I'm standing three blocks higher. And that is pretty insane, if you ask me. Um, so now if we keep that idea going... The question is only if, the, if I can get the timing right for multiplayer servers. So we could do the same thing again here. Boop. 
boop. And now we are another block up. Like, isn't that as insane? That is that is an insane elevator, an insanely easy elevator. Um, no, not a lot of pistons required, just one piston per three layers. And that is that is that is just amazing. I I, I keep repeating myself, but I, I hope you guys understand what a game changer this is. And as I said, I'm pretty sure Etho came up with it. Um, in one of his episodes. Okay, so um how did he do it? I think he used a monostable circuit from here. I'm just gonna set up a rough a rough sketch right now. Um, I do need a sticky piston for that. Let me work that out. Let me set up a rough sketch and then we're gonna see how reliably this works uh, on an SMP server. Because that's the most interesting part about this. Wow! Another change to Redstone I just noticed. Look at that. If you look really closely and probably in the highest resolution, you can see the hitbox of redstone is now way smaller. Remember how it used to be the whole block and you were able to place blocks against the side when you have a redstone on there? No longer possible. Look at that, it's way smaller now. You gotta place it right there to get the block next to it now. That is interesting. I never noticed that before. Moment of truth time. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 nope. The last one didn't quite work. Is that my fault or was that Lag's fault? Let's try it again. That was the second to last one, so yes. Not reliable for multiplayer, at least not at this interval. Yeah, that was only the second one. Let's try. Ooh, is that redstone there missing or did I just. Is it just from the previous version? Yeah. It's not missing at all. Okay, so instead, let's try to lower the timing um, just a tiny bit. So let's add one tick here. Let's add... Oh, let's go upstairs. There's no easy way to go upstairs. Ooh, that was weird. Now even the second one didn't quite catch me. Huh. Look at that, I fall through again. Is it pushing me through? Maybe it is because of the delay again. Um, that's not a good sign, however. Either way, it's not looking good for SMP friendliness, unfortunately. That would have been too easy, probably. Okay, let's make this one and let's make this one at two ticks. And now, let's try our luck again. Let's see if that works better. It actually worked! Look at that! Okay, so it is a lot slower, a lot slower actually, but let's see how reliable it is. Okay. Don't do that! Are you gonna jump? You gonna jump? Okay, I'm gonna get you in the next run. Um, so, two out of two. Don't you dare. Oh my god! These skeletons, I still need to learn that. Okay, 3 out of 3, looks good. Let me try it 5 times, and before we call it reliable. Alright, 4 out of 4. Looks very promising. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it didn't even... Maybe I was too early. Let's try this again. Eh. I didn't get stuck in between, like it just didn't didn't catch me on the, on the bottom floor. So I would call that... Ooh, wow, look at these skeletons. I would call that a solid 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> Or 5.5 out of 6? No, 4.5 out of 5 sounds reasonable. Um, it is working. It will need a little bit of tweaking um, to hide some of the redstone, of course. But I don't think it will fit in here, will it? Like, I will have to tear this out. It feel it makes me feel really bad to tear it out. But then again, it just doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense to keep it in here, you know? So I'll probably have to tear it all out. Um, to see if I can fit the new design in there somehow in this pillar. I might have to make it a little more compact if I can. And if that works out, I will be happily using that. Say, did the stair icons change again? Like, I could have sworn they were the other orientation before. Maybe it's just a shadow though. I know that they changed once before in... I think it was probably one of the beta versions. Maybe, maybe one of the early full release versions where they changed the direction the stairs were in your inventory. But that doesn't feel right to me for some reason. Anyways, uh, I've been building 
a little bit of the elevator, um, at least up to the second story here. Let's see if it works still. Nope! Sure doesn't! Why not, is my question. Why not? Let's try this again. Maybe it was just a one, two, nope. The second one doesn't work. Oh, wait. Third one doesn't work. Um, I go up here. Maybe the, the timing is not quite right. Let's make this one a little bit... Oops, can I? I hope I hit it. I don't know if I did. Let's see if it changed anything. One. Still a second one, isn't it? So maybe if I change this one... Boop. Will that work? One. No, that didn't do anything. One. Oh, am I not lined up correctly? Is that a problem? Um, let's do this. And boop, boop. Well, that only get, got us to the second one again. Oh, look at that. There's only one tick. Let's make this two ticks, maybe. Oh, wait. This was... I got two up. It's so hard to tell because everything looks the same. Let's go through here again. One. Two. Okay, what is the delay on the one above here? Oops, let's go in here. I don't care right now. That's three already. Oh, it, it should be three, I believe. Let's make this three, two. Um, because I got rid of one repeater compared to the other one. I got, on the other design we had over there, it was one repeater on one tick and one repeater on two ticks. And now I have them on three ticks, as you can see. Let's see if there was a problem, but if not, then this setup might not work for some reason. Yep, does not work for some reason. I don't know what it is. In th I mean, it is a different design. Like, I have the wire running a little bit differently to make it more compact. But at the same time, that shouldn't change anything. Because it still all gets activated at the same rate. Maybe not. You know what could be the difference? Now that I think about it, we have this uh, monostable circuit here, and we have only one tick repeaters. Oh no, I had two tick repeaters here. But maybe that is the issue. Maybe I need to keep um, the delay lower, otherwise the pistons will be extended for too long, due to the longer um, delays on the repeaters. Let me experiment around some more. Result? Hmm. Not really, not really satisfied with it. So I changed it up to use two repeaters again and to keep every repeater I use at one tick after the monostable circuit. Um, seems to help with stabilization, but... You see, that worked just fine. But there are still times where it doesn't work. I also put them back on one tick um, instead of the, the two and one tick we had earlier down there. And also, using two repeaters takes up a lot more space. So as you can see, I had to move it out of the center and a little bit uh, outwards even because I need the 3x3 three three area for the wiring and uh, we only have the 3x3 three three area covered in by the by the uh, acacia wood in there so hmm I don't know about that you see it's not a hundred percent probably not even close what if we put this all in I wonder if that will help with the stabilization uh, might have been coincidence. Well, let's fill in the last... Oh, I'm one stone short. Um, <laughs> texture pack issues. Don't mind those. I'll fix them. Nope. Didn't seem to help at all. With the reliability. I go in the corner. Yep. Whoa, what was that about? That was weird. I'm going to assume it's going it is it is a multiplayer lag issue. These have always been here with pistons and um the redstone timing. So, while this is a nice solution for your single player world, I don't think it has a future on multiplayer servers. Look at that now, it's totally unreliable. Let's try it again. I mean, it, it seemed to work at the other time when we um increased the the uh, timing. Where am I? Okay, got this one. Let's get the next one. Let's try and get higher up. Um, ooh, we made it all the way up this time. Wow. Okay, let's make this one too. Let's see if that is more reliable. 
Seems good for now. Yeah, maybe that is the solution. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be 100%, but it might be good enough. I mean, even our slime block elevator wasn't 100%. The good thing about our slime block elevator was that um, we could just jump down in case we got stuck. Actually, let's see, if I replace this one with a slime block, I could use it as a drop down too, which might be very useful. And I can just pull up the walls here and here, go in the corner. And whenever I get stuck, it seems to be pretty reliable now, huh, with this delay. I can just jump down here into the slime block. Maybe I can use it with this delay after all. I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna clean it up, and I'm not gonna do the, the upper layers yet. I'll look into that once we are certain that this is actually a feasible option. But it might work. I mean, I changed my mind. I changed my mind a couple of times now when I thought, yeah, this might work. And then I thought, nah, that probably won't work. And now I'm, I think, mm, that actually might work. <laughs> so I guess only time will tell. You know what? Let's, should we, let me iron block this one up a little bit. Go up. Reliable. Uh, kinda, kinda. So far, so good. This delay might actually work out. It also probably depends on the server mood. <laughs> because sometimes the server is very nice to me uh, concerning the lag and sometimes it is definitely not. So I'm I'm not too certain about that. I just want to close this off now so we don't see the redstone. Wow, do you see that? That was some weird block glitching. Okay, how does that look? Eh, that looks alright. can do that. Uh, we can step in here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, worked again. I'm getting more confident about this the more we try it. And go down. Yeah, I guess that's it. Doesn't look too bad either now with this stripe of metal in there. I kind of like that. Then we have the piston on the right and the slime block in the center. That uh, centers the whole image again. I like it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, lots of experimentation, lots of redstoning. I don't know if that has a future or not. I just really, really love the idea of how it works. So, yeah, I want to try it out if it works in SMP in any way or shape or form. So I might go with that. Let me know if you have any ideas in the comments, by the way. I want to I wanna hear you guys' suggestions for that. But, um, yeah, I hope to see you all again in the next episode on Timeshot Server. Probably some more multiplayer stuff again, we'll see. Uh, but until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.